at John chapter 15, verse 14. I said, oh, I love to look in the scripture and see how the Lord has spoken. Ye are my friends if you do whatever I command you. And it was just so simple. We are the Lord's children. But when Jesus said, you are my friends if you do whatever I command you, saints, the commandments weren't done away with. They were fulfilled. And once again, I'm just going to say it. Jesus said there are two commandments in the New Testament that we must obey. We can't get out of it. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy mind and all thy will and all thy strength. Every part of me, Father God, let me just love you with everything in me and love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus went on to say, you can hang the law and the prophets on these two. So saints, if you fulfill the commandments, loving the Lord your, your God with every part of you, and you love your neighbor as yourself, you have fulfilled the law and you follow the law. All the other commandments, whether they're for us in this day and age or whether they've been fulfilled, God said you can hang the law and the prophets on these two. So when I'm sitting here and I'm looking at you are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you, I'm just going to remind you today, saints, love the Lord thy God with all your heart and your mind and your will and your soul and your strength. And if you love him, you're going to love yourself and you're going to love your neighbors as you love yourself. So if you go around hating yourself and you're all mad because, oh, you know, I stumped my toe this morning and it hurts. And, oh, you know, just had a bad morning and I couldn't get the kids in uh, out of the bed and I couldn't get my husband up and I couldn't get my wife to do what I told her. All of this stuff, you know, that's coming against self. And when you come against self, you're coming against your neighbor because you're going to project onto your neighbor whatever is on you. So whatever's in you is going to be projected on that other person. It's going to be projected to the Lord. Well, thank you, Lord, for this food today. Thank you, Lord, for a roof over my head and clothes on my feet. Uh, um, clothes, yeah, clothes on my feet. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, shoes, clothes. Okay, you know what I meant. The cool thing is God has a sense of humor, and I can laugh at myself because if you love the Lord, you're going to love what he created, which is you. He created you in his image, and he loves you. And you've heard that a thousand million bazillion times. Jesus loves me, this I know. Yeah, didn't practice that either. Saints, the fact remains is that, yes, we know that the Lord loves us. My question for you today is, do you really love the Lord? Yeah, that'll make you stop and think. You are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Where? In the Word. Oh my gosh, that is such an epiphany for us today. It's all right there in the Word. Word up, saints. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. And whatsoever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. You have been called by the Lord. You did not choose the Lord. He chose you. He ordained you. He ordained you to go and bring forth fruit. He ordained you that you would go forth and bring forth that fruit and that you would ask the Father in his name that he would give it to you. Verse 17, John 15, 17. These things I command you that you love one another. Can't get out of it. You can complain and you can murmur and you can come up in the church house and you blah, 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 blah. Did you see what she did to me? Did you see... 
stop. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it. These things I command you, that you love one another. Mm. Saints, you're sitting there and it's like, well, you know, everybody hates me. Well, I've been through that too, yeah. Well, so whatever, you know. I was a kid in school. It's not like I had 4,000 friends. I still don't. I'm not going to. It doesn't matter how many friends you have. It only matters if you got one friend, and that's the Lord God Almighty himself. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. You are my friends, said Yeshua HaMashiach, if you keep my commandments. That's the only friend I got to have. The only friend you got to have is Yeshua. Because if you love the Lord like the, if you love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself, saints, you got to have all kind of friends, okay? You just may not even know it. These things I command you that you love one another. Now, come on, you got to have some, some good and bad and ugly up in here. The Lord warned you in verse 18, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you're not of the world, hmm, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hateth you. Saints, we're not supposed to go around trying to look for people to love us and accept us and forgive us. We're supposed to be loving them. We're supposed to be accepting them. We're supposed to be forgiving them. Okay, and you have to man up at some point, put your big girl panties on if you're, a, if you're a gal, you know what I'm talking about, grow up, the world hated Yeshua HaMashiach, they're going to they're gonna hate you, and if you want to be popular and you want to be a friend with everybody and you want everybody on Facebook to click like, then you're probably going to have what you want because the Lord will give you up to your own desires. Yeah. So if the flesh wants fame and fortune and popularity, then you'll probably get it. But if you're serving the Lord, saints, we are meant to walk that narrow path alone with the Lord. Yes, we are supposed to sharpen one another's iron. We are supposed to bear one another's burdens. But we're also supposed to be grown in maturity so that we can bring somebody else along and encourage them. We've been encouraged plenty. Now it's time for you and I to realize that the Lord said he has ordained you that you should go forth and bring fruit and that your fruit should remain, that you should love people, accept them, forgive them. Don't accept the fact that, oh, I've got to fit in. I've got to be popular. I've got to get lots and lots of likes. Well, I'd like to have lots of likes too, but not because they like me, because they are pointing their fingers to Jesus. A lot of times I'm going to share the truth with you. You ain't going to like it because it's the truth. You're not going to share it because it's the truth. You might offend somebody. I'm way past offending people because guess what? It's the word. Jesus himself that offends. He's a sword, and he brought a sword. If he's the word, saints, made flesh and dwelling amongst us, which he is, and that means he's the sword, yeah, the word of God, the spoken word of God. Hmm. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you're not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If, mm, if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. 